Guys, welcome to the conference room. Today we're talking about the issues that no one seems to be talking about. These issues that you guys have been facing, these issues with the new US visa portal, which the US Travelox team have moved to very recently at the end of July, essentially. I want to detail those because these issues are some things that we are dealing with, that you are dealing with, and almost everyone is dealing with, but many websites continue to disregard these issues when they post the news. Guys, please note, different kinds of users are facing different issues. That means out of these issues that I'm going to be telling you, I have like six, seven issues listed down here. Out of them, you will be facing probably one, two, or maybe even three issues, right? But these exist in real time, it's happening right now. And then I'll give you the official resolution for these issues as well as given to us by the US Travel Dogs team. Guys, the first issue which everyone is talking about is the extreme delay for the appointments. So if you want a US visa appointment, you go onto the new portal and you basically fill up the forms and then you reach to the appointment booking stage, chances are that the appointment that you will see for the most part, which is like, an, which is basically a combination of OFC plus consular, right? Where you have to do biometrics at your OFC, give fingerprints and then give the interview within the next 14 days. These appointments are going to be available to you. This set of appointments is going to be available to you at least a year later. More than a year in many cases. People are seeing appointments sometimes 400 days away as well. That's your issue number one. And while that may not be a technical glitch, the US Travel Dogs team has done that before on the previous portal as well. But at the same point in time, even the critical cases are sometimes not able to see the appointments, even with emergency approvals off. The second one, which is very common, I'm sure that many of you would be facing that issue and that's probably why you would be on this video as well, is that they pay the MRV fee on this portal and then it doesn't reflect. This MRV fee that you pay for your visa interview seems to just disappear and then there's a message on the screen saying that, hey, if you pay the MRV fee the second time, please note that it won't be refunded. So you should not pay it the second time either. You should just keep waiting. Now, of course, that causes tremendous delays on your plans. It causes essentially havoc because you don't really know whether you'll be able to make it to the US in time or not. Moreover, sometimes you would see this sort of an error on your screen with this decimal issue coming up, which apparently is a programming error on their end, which they have not handled properly. The third issue that many of you guys are facing is that you try to log into the portal and as soon as you hit login and you enter everything right and the credentials are proper, you will see this issue which tells you that you cannot log in right now, but you can log in in the future. And of course, this keeps on happening again and again, no matter how many times you do it today, tomorrow or day after tomorrow, it doesn't go away. The issue number four is the document delivery post loop. That means that there's a post that you have to select. Where do you want the, your documents to be delivered? Now, this may be different for different countries, but for India, there are five locations, you know, more or less. You can say Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai, right? Whatever. You have to basically select one of these posts and then the document, your, your passport will basically be delivered over there, right? At the end of the day, once your visa is approved. Now, in this case, what is going on is you select it, you click next. It's a loop. You keep on selecting it again and again. You have to continue your application, you again get redirected to this page. That means that you can never really go ahead and file your visa. You can never really go ahead and select your appointment dates because this issue does not go away. Issue number five is the account creation issue. So you create a new account on this website and apparently what happens is somehow if you're able to first off create an account because it's quite unstable in many cases. But if you create an account, when you go to login, it says that the account does not exist. And when you go to sign up, it says that the account already exists. That means again, you're stuck in a loop. You don't know what's going on in your database. If you try to make an account, it says that the account is already there. If you try to log in, it says that the account does not exist. You keep on basically thinking, what do you do? Because it does not simply create your account properly. So that issue is also something that many of our clients have faced. Issue number six, I would say it's not as much an issue as it is the failure to add a feature that used to be there in a previous portal, which is the update profile section. That means that now if you want to update your DS-160, if you want to change your DS-160, right, it is not possible at this point in this portal because you cannot change the DS-160 ID after you have booked your appointment. That means you'll have to start the, basically you have to close the application. That means you have to end that appointment that you had, you have to let go of it 
and you have to again book another slot with the new DS160 ID. So you cannot update any profile details without cancelling the slot, which was not the case until last time. Some details used to be editable, which are now no longer editable. Issue number seven is that there's no rescheduling option on this portal visible for most of the profiles. That means that if you have booked your appointment on this portal and you want to reschedule your appointment, it does not give you an option to do that. You have to close your application. That means you have to let go of your slot and then you have to again book a new one. We all know how difficult it is to get a slot. Personally, we know, I know because we monitor 24 seven, much of our funds from any client that works with us go into this 24 seven monitoring on national holidays. No matter what is going on, we have to monitor because they can open up these slots anytime, right? And they open it up for like 10 minutes, then they're gone. So this rescheduling is very important that you should have your previous slot and only then you're rescheduling, right? If you have to let go of your previous slot, you have to cancel your slot. It does not make sense in that case. And that option seems to be disappeared altogether from this portal for many cases that we've worked with. The next issue I'm showing you, the eighth one, is basically the one wherein you had an appointment maybe in your previous US visa appointment, CGI Federal basically website, right? Which is now no longer operational. Now in the new website, when you go ahead and you try to check your appointment, it doesn't exist. You don't see it. It's neither visible nor can you retrieve it. Or what is the issue is that you can see it, but now you see two different consular dates. So now you don't know yourself which date to actually go to the consular location because you can see in this image one OFC and two different consular dates and we all know that you can only file one visa at a time one visa type at a time so you cannot really have two dates it doesn't make sense again now with these issues the US travel docs team has actually understood that there are these many issues existing on their portal on the new website that they've moved on and they mentioned that they'll be fully supporting you. I want to give you some examples of their full support to you. So what happens is when you basically want support from them now, earlier they used to even accept calls. Now they only accept emails. So you have to email them first. Once you email them, they will get back to you in a couple of days and they will say that the issue is resolved or you have to clear your cache of your browser, right? Or use an incognito window and then you will be able to actually use the website properly. Sounds good? All right, after a couple of days, you get this email. But what is worse is that even after creating a ticket, trying to get a resolution, getting an email that it's resolved, you go ahead and try to log in and the exact same issue will continue to be there. How many of you have faced that? Comment down below. I know that a lot of you guys will be facing this. You email them, they say that it's done or clear your browser cache and you do that. And yet the website does not work in the way that it is supposed to work. And jackpot calls are not taken anymore at the US travel docs team as they used to be in the last time when last portal was active. Now guys, I urge you to share this video with people. So US Travel Docs looks at this and understands that these issues exist on their portal and these are something that they need to work on or temporarily shift to the previous portal if the new portal is not stable enough. But please fix them because hundreds of people, thousands of people are facing these issues. Before you go, I want to tell you a little bit about us. We've been working in this industry for the last five years, more than five years now. And we've handled more than 15,000 cases of visa applications just in the last three years itself. Most of the issues that I've told you in this video, we have overcome them because our clients are actually facing those issues and we see again and again and again, we're dealing with thousands of accounts, we have to overcome them. So we do a lot of experimentation and finally we've been able to find as many fixes as possible. And that's essentially how our expertise builds up as well because we're working on thousands of cases at any point in time. Now, if you need our support, if you need my support, my WhatsApp number is going to be in the description. Please reach out to me over there. I insist and I'll try to help you to the best of my ability. Or you can take a look at the Visa Application Help Service on Vimegrad. If you need premium support, you will be able to actually get that support you'll be having us on your side and we'll be actually working directly on your case. Until then, thank you so much for watching this video. Share this with people who need to know. Subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram for more such content just like this one. Thank you so much guys.